Sony's had a tough run with Spider-Man. There was the Sam Raimi trilogy, which has not aged well. I mean, I used to defend the first one. Seeing it in theaters back in 2002 as a kid who dreamed about being Spider-Man was a big deal to say the least. And the MCU hadn't even started yet. This was when comic book movies were sort of being reborn. X-Men came out two years earlier, and I remember even as a kid thinking this was the first big step forward for the legitimacy of comic book movies. And I was a kid. Up until that point, mainstream comic book movies came out occasionally. I don't mean stuff like Road to Perdition or Watchmen, I mean MCU releases and really any classic comic book characters. There was usually only one every few years, and though some were standouts, most usually weren't great. But after Spider-Man, with the exception of 2006, 2009, and 2010, we've gotten a minimum of three per year, and that never really stopped. I guess it became clear that these were worth investing in. In fact, for the last few years, we've gotten at least six a year, sometimes more. The technology was finally there to make suspending disbelief easier than it had ever been.